today's video is going to be about my experience finding a short-term stay in Singapore and a review of the place that I ended up picking called Hamlet. When I first moved to Singapore, one of the things that I didn't realize was finding a short-term stay would be pretty challenging actually and that Airbnb wasn't one of the options. Usually my go-to platform for finding a place to stay is Airbnb, but in Singapore, you can't stay at an Airbnb for less than three months legally. And if you're coming on a work permit like I was, you really want to make sure that you're following all of the rules. So that leaves you with pretty much two options, service departments or hotels. I'm going to link a video in the description by Sherry by W that I found really helpful in laying out the different options between service departments and hotels and different kinds of each. So I'll link that in the description below. I definitely recommend that you watch that video to get a sense of what kind of option might best fit your needs. My criteria for a short-term stay were, one, I was looking for a place with a budget of about 1,000 SGD a week. Two, I was looking for a layout where I would be comfortable working remotely from, so I needed to have a place to work from and good Wi-Fi. And three, I wanted a fairly central location so I could be nearby everything to begin exploring and also close to all the places that I would need to go for appointments in the first couple of weeks while I was basically getting my life set up in Singapore. So based on that criteria, the place that I ended up picking is Hamlet Cantonment. It's kind of a blend between a hotel and a co-living space located in Tanjong Pagar. I was really happy with my stay at Hamlet, and so today I'm going to give you a tour of the room I stayed in and the rest of the hotel and share some information that might be helpful to you if you're also considering staying at Hamlet or looking for a short-term stay in Singapore. So first, the location. Hamlet Cantonment gets its name from being on Cantonment Road, which is in Tanjong Pagar, one of my favorite neighborhoods in Singapore. Tanjong Pagar is a district in the CBD, or Central Business District, which basically means that it's a very convenient location. Tanjong Pagar is known for having some of Singapore's best bars and restaurants and is always super bustling on the weekends. You're surrounded by beautiful shop houses wherever you go. Some of my favorite streets to walk down are Blair Road, Craig Road, and Kyongsek Road. Hamlet is within walking distance of all of these locations, and I spent most evenings just walking around and exploring these really beautiful neighborhoods. The hotel is also about a 10-minute walk from Fair Price Finest, which is the more upscale version of Fair Price, a very common grocery chain in Singapore. And if you're looking for some more affordable places to eat nearby, there are also great options. Options, Maxwell Food Center and Everton Food Place for hawker stalls and Tanjong Pagar Plaza for more affordable casual food options. I highly recommend using public transport to get around Singapore and is less than a three minute walk from several bus stops that connect you to the rest of Singapore and about a 10 minute walk to the nearest MRT station. So moving on to the room itself. I booked the smallest room that they had available, which is very aptly called the small. This is about 11 to 14 square meters or 120 to 150 square feet. They also have larger rooms available that go up to 41 square meters or around 440 square feet and come with multiple bedrooms. The room I stayed in is essentially a small hotel room. The bed is a queen size bed and really comfortable. I also thought that the bedding they provided was really comfortable and soft. There's one small nightstand next to the bed with a reading light that you can conveniently turn on and off without having to get out of bed. One aspect of the room that I really appreciated was the number of outlets. The outlets were conveniently located for charging your phone and other electronics and also had a USB outlet, which is really nice if you forgot to buy an outlet adapter. The bed faces a TV that you can kind of move around to get the best angle and comes with Netflix. The dresser has two drawers, which are pretty spacious, and I was able to fit a lot of clothes in there. There's a small cubby where you can store things like your shoes, and on top of the dresser, there's a safe that worked well. There's a small clothes rack to hang up a few items, and 
pegs that line the wall where you can hang things like your bags. I also appreciated the full length mirror so I could actually look at myself and what I was wearing before I stepped out. The bathroom is a wet shower so the shower doesn't have a door that fully closes and you'll just want to make sure that you don't keep anything in the bathroom that you wouldn't mind getting wet because when you turn on the shower the water will get all over the place. That said, I love the waterfall shower that the room came with. It had great water pressure and consistently warm water. Hamlet also provides really nice body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. The amenities. I think Hamlet's amenities are what makes it really stand out from other similarly priced hotels. When you first arrive, there's a large common area slash lobby called the canteen, where there are desks and office chairs and some more casual couches and chairs. During the day, this area is really popular to work from. While I was staying there, there was even one person that would bring their own monitor and set it up at one of the desks every day so you can really make it feel like your own personal office space if you want. This space has a communal kitchen on one of the walls that has fridge space, cooking utensils, a stove top and oven, sink, basically everything that you would need to cook. The kitchen has small snacks and drinks that you can purchase which is really convenient when you're working and just need a quick bite to eat. The countertop also has a beer tap so if you want a drink you don't even need to step out. I didn't end up cooking but I did use a coffee machine that they provided pretty much each day because it was free and really convenient. The front desk is also located in this building. The front desk team is really easy to get in contact with over WhatsApp and really prompt to answer any questions or concerns that you might have. One morning, the coffee machine wasn't working and I sent them a message on WhatsApp. Within half an hour, they had the machine up and running again. Right across from the common room, there is a wellness studio that you can reserve for your own workouts. There are also workout classes there that you can take if you're interested. This was another feature that I definitely took advantage of and I love doing yoga in this space. One of my favorite parts of Hamlet is the outdoor deck and garden space. I took most of my work calls from the tables out here and if it wasn't too hot, I would sit out here and work too. Most of the tables have umbrellas, which is definitely necessary for the sun and hot weather that you get here in Singapore. I love the plant walls that surrounded the space and make it feel more private from the nearby apartment complex. There were two drawbacks to this outdoor space. One, it might be obvious, but there will be bugs and I avoided eating outside because there were a lot of really large red ants. They would make their way over to you whenever there was any kind of food out. Two, the couch cushions were not covered by the umbrellas and so they were often damp meaning that you couldn't sit on them, which was kind of unfortunate because that was most of the seating available. There's also a small pool in the back that's more of a plunge pool, so you can't really go swimming in there. You just sit and hang out. I actually didn't end up using this though, so can't really comment on it, but it did look nice. I also love this separate outdoor space in front of the building that has fairy lights at night. I think this would be a really nice place to have your guests over. I hope this video was useful if you're someone that is moving to Singapore and looking for a short-term place to stay or you're someone that is considering visiting Singapore and you want a hotel that you can also comfortably work from. Feel free to leave a comment or like this video if it's been helpful and I'll see you next time.